there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother with the harsh rays of adversities and bind the way into a day there's nothing quite like a sheltering tree a true friend is like the sheltering tree who gives us relief in their cool shade how true it is friendships massive trunk of understanding gives us security and its fresh leaves of love wipe the tears from our eyes beneath its branches of rested many a discouraged soul in the bible we read of a very special friendship the friendship of david and jonathan <laughs> it was love that knit the hearts of both these men together the kind of love that causes men to lay down their lives for their friends as jesus said in john 15:13 <laughs> Then we read of Elijah and Elisha. Elijah was depressed and threatened. He was ready to quit, <laughs> ready to resign his prophetic ministry. But God did not accept his resignation. He gave him rest, good food, and a friend called Elisha, who, and I quote, set out to follow Elijah and became his attendant. 1 Kings 19:21. Elijah rested in the shade of Elisha, the sheltering tree. Paul had a similar experience. In fact, the trees in his life significantly sustained him. There was Barnabas who stood by him when everybody was afraid of him and refused to accept him. Acts 19:26-27. There was Silas, his traveling companion who accompanied him in his long and tedious journey. Acts 15:40-41. Then there was Timothy who stayed close to Paul even when he was in prison. These men were sheltering trees in Paul's life, whose shade had refreshed him to a great extent. Even our Lord Jesus enjoyed the friendship of Lazarus, Martha and Mary. There were sheltering branches in Bethany under whose affectionate shade Jesus found rest. Yes. and those branches are you refreshed or who rests beneath your sheltering branches don't think that you can be an independent soul remember that you need at least a few trees to shelter you when the heat of life rises and the winds begin to blow so start now get busy in planting watering pruning and cultivating your trees of friendship so let's pray Heavenly Father, thank you for my good friends. Help us to be like sheltering trees to each other. Let our friendship have no conditions, no bargains. Let us be careful to water and cultivate our friendship and let our roots grow deep in you. In Jesus name. Amen. May you have a blessed, friendly day with Christ Jesus. Shalom friend